So Flask blueprints are used to organize applications into distinct components, each with separate templates, views, and static files. You can think of blueprints as reusable applications similar to Django applications. And if you've never worked with blueprints before, start with reading the Flask docs as they provide a comprehensive explanation. So let's jump right in. Today we'll be reorganizing our app by functionality. So all the templates, views, and static files for the user registration will go in one blueprint. Now keep in mind that we have not fully set up the user registration yet. We're just setting up the structure first to make development easier and more modular. So currently our application looks like this. And the meat of our application is held in our app.py file. And so let's go ahead and reorganize this using blueprints. So let's start by creating a project directory to house our blueprints. And within that directory, let's add another directory called users. And this user directory will hold all of the user registration functionality, and that's our first blueprint. And then finally, add a templates directory within that users directory. Now we can add a new file called views.py to the users directory. As well as an under under init file. And this will indicate to the Python interpreter that the directory should be treated as a module. Let's see what I did here. So actually, I need to move the views.py file and the under under init to the users directory. So move that to users and then move to users. And we do actually need to add another under under init file to that project folder as well. So let's just check the tree here. Oops. So within that project directory, we have an under under init file, we have users directory, under under init, a templates directory, and then views.py. And that's exactly what we should have. And then let's go ahead and move the login.html file to that templates directory. So under templates, login.html, I'm gonna go ahead and move that to project, users, templates. And let's check the tree one more time. Cool. And so our directory structure should now look like this. So we really haven't changed too much yet. We have just set up the structure for blueprints. And our blueprints, again, are going to go into this project directory here. So perhaps we'll end up adding a blog to this. We could add another blueprint called blog and that would go within this project directory for example. Alright so with our app reorganized let's go ahead and update the main app and this main app contains the functionalities not associated with a blueprint. So to save time I'm actually going to do some copying and pasting. So if you go to discoverflask.com you can grab all the code here. So let's start with updating app.py. So really this should all look familiar. And I actually need a space here. But take note of where we register the blueprints, which is right here. So by registering the blueprint against the Flask app, the future operations or functionality associated with that blueprint will be executed when the Flask app is initialized. And so now we can create the user's blueprint. So we need to update that new views.py file that we created. 
We'll hop back to the repository here, go in the project, users, here's our views file. Go ahead and copy and paste everything here. And again, most of this should be familiar. And I need another space there. So what is actually new here? Well, we define the blueprint right up here. And take note of the template folder. It should actually be templates. So this template folder is specific to this blueprint. And we also have a template folder in our main app. And the templates in there apply to all blueprints. And we also need to, to bind each function with the at users blueprint dot route decorator. So that when we register the blueprint, Flask will become aware of each of the functions. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this is going to be users blueprint dot route. Go ahead and save that. And notice how we move the actual bcrypt functionality out of the main app to the user's blueprint. So why do we do this? We want to keep the blueprint separate from our main app so that it's its own app that can be reused. The one exception to that rule is our bootstrap styles, which we're sharing across the entire app. And so we also need to update the imports in our model. So this is actually going to come from project dot users dot views we want to import bcrypt go ahead and save that okay so everything is set up correctly for the blueprints and let's go ahead and run a quick sanity check so let's go ahead and activate our virtual environment now let's run our application so python manage.py run the server Now we can navigate to localhost 5000. So we're getting an error here. Let's see what this error is. It's on app.py line 36. Let's see what's going on there. So app.py line 36. So this actually needs to be changed to users.login. And we're getting a template not found for login.html. So that's going to be in the views file. Let's see what's going on. And remember how we changed this to singular? This actually is plural. So let's reset. There we go. So now let's try logging in. Cool. Looks like everything is working out. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and push these changes up to Heroku. So we can do git push. Actually, I need to add these changes to the local repository. Let's go add, git commit. We'll call this convert app to blueprints. And then we can say git push. Roku master. Cool, and let's test this out on Roku. Go ahead and navigate to the main page. Try logging in. Cool, and there's our posts. Awesome. Well, that's it for today with our app organizing the blueprints. Next time we'll move forward with development, starting with finalizing the user registration functionality. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.